Now I'm in the greenhouse and I'm showing you propagation and the whys and wherefores of doing that. The advantage being that if you can raise seedlings, sturdy healthy plants for planting out, you can gain so much time early in the season. And here I have a module tray which I'm going to fill with compost and then sow some seeds and prick some seedlings into it. It's a 60 cell tray, it's made of quite firm plastic so you can reuse it many times without any washing out or sterilizing. And I'm going to fill it now with compost. So this is some compost which I've mixed up from, it's one half bought multi-purpose organic compost. And it's one half very well rotted cow manure, it's two years old. So it's compost really. And I've sieved that very lightly and then mixed it with some of the finer bought compost. And I'm now putting this compost into the tray to fill it up and I'm putting in a lot as you can see because when it's pressed down it needs to be well well pressed into sections here with two fingers at a time and what I do is actually then smooth it out and push down again partly because there are some lumps and I want to make sure that each cell has a decent amount of compost in it. So now I'm watering the tray to get the compost fully moist because it's much easier to prick seedlings into moist compost. It's a very free draining compost so it doesn't hang on to the excess moisture for long, that drains through and you can start working uh, almost immediately with some seedlings for example. This is some parsley which I sowed about a month ago in February and I have some flower seeds, which are a mix of helichrysum and scabious and snapdragon. And also, finally, I have some tomato seedlings, which are all suitable for pricking into modules like this. And the way I do it is lifting them up with the pencil underneath and lift them out, always holding them by the leaf, not by the stem. And then I make a little hole here and pop it in. Now notice the, the root there is longer than the depth of the tray and it's absolutely fine just to push it in and coil it round. It doesn't have to go all straight down and it's also a very good idea to bury the stem because that way you can turn a leggy seedling into a sturdy one. All vegetables are very happy to have their stems buried in this way you end up with lovely, stocky, sturdy plants rather than flapping around in the wind. And it's a very similar procedure here with the tomatoes. So I'm just lifting out the small tomato seedlings, nice little bit of root on there. And again, popping it in, burying the stem to make it a sturdy plant. And then also, sometimes you've got a bit more root, maybe you need to make a slightly bigger hole to bury it all. And finally, that one, I'll just show you a very small seedling, uh, which is actually a snapdragon here. It's so small you can hardly see it. But you can prick tiny seedlings. The advantage being that they just get their little roots in there, the moist compost, and then they settle down and grow away. Here is a a different kind of module tray, it's actually made of polystyrene. It's broken a little bit at the edge. And again, just reused and reused, never washed out, no sterilizing or anything like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm sowing seeds into the compost. I sowed some a couple of weeks ago. I'm just doing a second sowing now into the same tray. So here's some seeds of pea I saved, in fact, a couple of years ago. And it works very well to put two or three seeds in each hole. And then they grow quite happily in there and develop their little roots in that amount of compost until they'll be ready for planting in about three weeks time. I'm now going to show you a couple of trays I sowed earlier and they are another experiment into the same question of compost, which compost to use. And one has well rotted cow manure, pure manure. And this is this one and one has West Riding multi-purpose compost. Now, 
the seedlings have grown well in both trays. You know, if, if we just had that one on its own, you'd think, well, that's fine. They're all coming up. But look at the difference with uh, some well-rotted cow manure. I mean, this one surprises me as much as anyone. The, the, the lovely quality and vigor of growth. And basically, you can see sowing into well-rotted manure is fine for healthy seedling growth. For further information, do visit my website, which is www.charlesdowding.co.uk. And also, I've written a wide range of books that are widely available.